y'all, this is Zeno, and uh, welcome to this video. I got out a couple of the Glocks that I own. Um, this is pretty much all of them, because I recently traded two of my Glocks away, the last two Gen 3s that I had, and uh, so right now, these are the three Glocks that I own. Um, a couple of these you've seen already, one of them I've talked about, um, but I haven't brought it out for a video yet. In fact, this video represents the first time my Glock 22 has uh, has been has been on video. Uh, I've never had it out there. It's it, it's funny because it's actually the first Glock 4, excuse me, Gen 4 Glock that I bought, but it's never seen it's never seen the camera. So obviously, the Glock 19. Um, the Glock 19, uh, that one I've done a couple videos with already. Um, actually, probably done the most videos with this one, as far as my uh, Gen 4 Glocks go. Um, still, probably my favorite Glock out of the three. Of course, this guy, the newest edition, new last week. My Glock 26, nine millimeter, and uh, this is a. I, I got it out to shoot for the first time uh, this week, and it was, at the risk of sounding gay, it was fabulous. Um, I just absolutely love this gun. This one, on the other hand, is my Glock 22. It's 40 cal. Uh, it's the only 40 cal gun I actually own. And this is my uh, home defense gun. Now, this is loaded, so I'm going to double check it because I do keep this gun loaded in the house pretty much all the time um, so <clears throat> excuse me this gun is my like I said is my home defense gun this one stays in the house loaded pretty much all the time and if uh, you know if you're the type of person who's gonna prowl around my house this is the this is the gun you're most likely to meet um, the one thing I haven't done with this gun yet is I haven't put a talon grip on it and most of my Glocks, in fact now all of my Glocks except for the 22, oops, now have the Talon Grip, but don't, don't be afraid, I do have a Talon Grip for the Glock 22. I had the Hogue um, grip on here, that's the rubberized grip that you kind of slip over, it's like the universal pistol grip, and to be honest with you, it just wasn't a good grip. I had it on there for a while, never really liked it on this. With the new Gen 4s, with the more ergonomic grips and the more aggressive um, texturing of the grip handle, it's the the hoe grip just didn't work at all, and I never liked it. I liked it on my previous Gen Glocks, but but not the Gen 4. Uh, it just didn't work at all, in my opinion. It was just just crap, and that's unfortunate because I do like that grip uh, on some other guns that I own, some some rifles, my and uh, other Glocks that I had. It was great, but for the for the uh, Gen 4 22, it was not a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, the Talon grip on this guy. Let me uh, actually have another mag here. Let me strip this one real quick. That's it. That's just Remington ammo. Um, nothing fancy for for home defense, you know, just basic stuff. Right, let me take this one out. So I'll check it again. And empty mag. So there we go. Safe. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put on this Talon grip here today. Um, I've had it for a while. It's just been sitting in my box, my box, and just haven't gotten around to putting it on. I'm not gonna bore you with actually putting the Glock grip on. Excuse me, the Talon grip on. I went through that process with this one last week, and the uh, process is the same. So, if you want to see that, go back and check out the installing Italian grip on a Glock 26. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So, I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, just finished putting on the Talon grip on the Glock 22. Um, this one went on actually really easy. In fact, I think it went on easier than the Glock 19 or the Glock 26. Uh, it's cut very well. Very little of it needed to be trimmed away for the mag release button. Just a little bit of the corner there. That's it. I mean, if you compare that to the to the Glock 19, where 
you know, a fairly good portion of that needed to be clipped away. Uh, the Glock 26, quite a bit of it needed to be tri trimmed away there. Um, it definitely was a very easy installation. In fact, it's still warm. There's just something about a warm gun, you know? Weird. Um, so yeah, now it feels that feels real good. Like I said, I, I haven't really been that big on the you know doing a lot to the Glock 22 because again I use it for home defense and you know to be honest with you it spends 90% of its time locked in a case upstairs and I don't really um, shoot it a whole lot it's it's odd because you know it's my home defense gun you think I'd probably shoot it quite a bit but I don't um, I definitely shoot the 19 um, the most obviously the Glock 26 is fairly new so I don't shoot haven't shot that a whole lot but um, out of all of them they all feel very similar the, the nice thing about Glocks that I've noticed and I'm sure if you're big into any single manufacturer of guns um, the nice thing is they all shoot very similar with the exception of the sight radius and kind of you know getting used to that a little bit they all shoot very well I can pick up the Glock 19 and shoot very well with that, immediately switch over to the Glock 26 and shoot well with that, immediately go over to the Glock 22 and shoot very well with that. I don't, you know, the sights are very similar, the where you're aiming is identical, um, they really are, you know, very consistent guns. So I don't worry too much about not shooting the 22 as much as I shoot the 19 because you know I know when I pick up the 22 it's gonna shoot almost the same way obviously the 40 cal does shoot a little bit different as far as you know the feel and recoil a gun but to be honest with you I don't really get too hung up on caliber the only thing I have done to this gun is obviously now the talon grip the only other thing I did is I put in the Glockmeister grip plug those are the only two things I've done with this gun uh, likewise, it's the only two things I've done with this gun, talon grip and the, and the grip plug. Um, obviously the 26, I've done the talon grip and the grip extension, um, the mag extension, but that's all I've done with that gun. Uh, there's no internal modifications made to any of these guns. So I'm looking forward to uh, taking the 22 and kind of spicing it up a little bit. You know, I, I love shooting the Glock 19. It's probably my favorite gun to shoot right now. And the, the, the 26 is definitely um, coming in as a, as a really fun gun to shoot too. So, you know, we'll continue on shooting some more Glocks. I'm um, hoping to get out to the range. We've been real busy at work and whatnot lately, so I haven't gotten a whole lot of range times, but I hope to get some more range time out. The one thing I like about these guns is it doesn't matter what, what holster you use with these guys. They pretty much all work. Um, these are kind of the holsters I've been using a lot. Uh, the the 26 I carry in this uh, Blackhawk one paddle. The 19 I almost always carry in just a belt holster. Carry it like that. The 26 I almost never holster, but I do have a holster for it. The cool thing is, you know, you can put these are all the same size guns, so you can put a 19 in the same holster as a 22. You can put the 22 in the same holster as the 26, just like that. I can see here and take 26 and put it in the same holster as the uh, as the 22. Uh, they all work in the same holsters because the frames and whatnot are all the same. The only difference is the size of that size of that caliber. Um, in fact, the barrels are actually the same size. It's just the hole that's being bored in them that's a little bit different. Um, so from that standpoint, like I said, I almost never holster the 26, or excuse me, the 22, but I do have a holster for it, paddle, in case I ever want to. Um, the 19 I carry in this kind of carbon fiber one when I'm out shooting it outside with my buddies and stuff like that. And then the um, 26, I just carry in that little paddle holster because this is the gun, as I've said in the past, that I'm going to grab if I need to go somewhere uh, and need to carry. So that's the one. Sometimes I do, however, carry the 19. And again, the cool thing is, I can put it in the, the same holster. That's what I like about these guns. You know, you don't need... I own three holsters, and it, and it holsters all of my Glocks. Um, so, that's the cool thing about, about Glocks that I like. So, there you go. 
couple things going on. Had a good time. Take it easy. Talon grips. See you next time.